don't even know me and it makes no sense but if you see you yeah i'm the king of second chance welcome to another highly video you want nothing it's chemical hold on to something we've got enough so i don't wait you don't need to hesitate What are we talking about? Today, we're talking about true love. True love. True love. Click, click that um, subscribe button Don't right forget. there. Don't forget, right there. Somewhere. Before we start, just. Like button too. Like if you want to be part of the Hadley. Notification family. bell. Notification bell. Yeah, get the notification Ding bell down. on. Ding so you can know when we're posting our videos. And as you can see, the background is a little bit different. But yes. We're in. We're Either Hawaii or a backyard. I don't know. It's yes, green we're somewhere. In this the is world. how it actually looks like. Yes. All right, back to whatever the green screen was. Back to our topic today, guys. Discover Sunday. Can enjoy. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't notice, both of us are like perfectionists, so we like to make everything look good. But it is for you guys, so that you can watch the best video of us uh, when you know we try to take time to edit and everything. So. Yeah. Anyways, for our topic today, honey. True love. True love. True love. True love. What, what is true love? True love. True love. All right. In the English language, we use the word love a lot. Mm -hmm. And even though we may be using the same word, uh, it might be different in different contexts. For instance, if you say you love pizza, the word love, <laughs> the word love is describing an automatic feeling you don't have control over. But if you say like, oh, I love my enemies, then you're describing an actual choice that, you know, guides you to how you treat people. people. And basically those two are very two different meanings. Um, one's an automatic happening. The other one's basically a choice that you've made in your life. And so when we think about different situations, like at home, um, my brother is very annoying. As an example, I don't have a brother and I'm a sibling, but for an example, my brother is very annoying, nagging me all day, or my mom's nagging me all day, or whatever. But I decide that I love her. I still want to love her or love my brother or what it is. Um, that's a decision that I made. And uh, some things are very automatic. Uh, sometimes falling on the impulse of love can be very, um, automatic, like, oh, she looks good, she used to be kind of in my peripherals before, and I was like, okay, I love her, but then it's like, I'm falling in love with her, but it's like, automatic. Right, right, right. So feelings are natural. So you may not, and you may not be able to control the fact that you love pizza, or have feelings for someone, uh, but that's just half of the story. You know, it's equally true that you have the power to control your feelings of love as well. Like, you know, the example we gave earlier about, you know, um, my brother being annoying or my sister being annoying or my mom being like, you know, annoying to me, but I still have the choice to to love them. Or at the end of the day, I, I say that I love my brother, I love my sister, I love my mom, because I do have control over my feelings, over our feelings. And it can be difficult sometimes to do something that pulls you out of your comfort. You may not be able to control your feelings, but you can control your decisions. So you might have relation, like your relationship, like my mine between husband and wife right here. Um, we have the feelings of love. We have affection towards each other. But even the times that we make the decision to love, even though it's hard, we have arguments. Right? We have disputes. We have different things that might be on the opposite end of things, but we're deciding to still uh, fight together and love each other. Um, and that was a decision that we made. And I, yeah, I feel like a lot of people are always trying to find true love or understand the meaning of true love. And so I feel like... True love is not easy. Um, I think that actually when you find the right person, it's not easy at all. You know, sometimes we may think, oh, if I find the right person, then everything is going to be, you know, less difficult or 
I'm just gonna be happy and it's gonna be lovey-dovey or whatever. But um, yeah, it's not always the case. So you have the decision to stay in the relationship no matter how difficult it is. In a lot of relationships, I think it's very easy to come home after a long day of hard work or doing something at home already and doing um, coming back with uh, our relationship at the very end of the day. We get very hard sometimes to make that extra effort and especially later when I heard this from you know, like parents with kids uh, that it gets even harder because I get to take care of kids too. But um, really that decision is to keep loving mm -hmm. and that decision is to keep going mm -hmm. and that um, to love the person for also who they are in the beginning of the relationship, not waiting till after they have kids to figure out who they are or letting it passively happen that um, you just ignore everything that um, bugs you about them, but actually learn to understand who they are um, during the relationship. Yeah. That's such an important thing to do in the beginning, especially in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I, I think really one thing about that I was, I, you know, I was, my husband was talking, one thing I remember is, you know how they say like, oh, I, I fell in love or I'm falling in love. I think in a relationship, or at least for us and for myself, I didn't just fall in love with Ilya. I actually decided to be in love with him, right? I think there is a decision there where it's not just, oh, just the feelings, you know, I fell in love and we're, you know, lovey-dovey, but then when the hard situations come, hard situations come in, then, you know, it might break, you know, the love if there's no decision to stay or to work on the relationship or to uh, decide to love a person no matter what. So I feel that when we do get into a relationship, like, like you said, it's very, very important to go in it with the mindset of decision. Like, not just up in the air kind of love, but like really decide to commit and say that I'm with this person and no matter what happens, no matter what comes in, I'm gonna stick with them and I'm deciding to stay with them. I'm deciding, I'm choosing to love them. Don't, Don't forget, forget to have faith, faith create love, love, peace, and joy. Bye. <laughs> You can see a lot of freaking outtakes here. Love y'all. I don't want them. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't forget to have, have faith. faith. Create, create love. love. Oh. Love. Okay. Create love. love. Peace. Peace. <laughs> no, no, no. This should be joy. Um, oh, that's right. It was yeah. peace. 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 Peace.